السلام علیکم مائی نیم از ہراناس مائی رول نمبر از ای پی ون ڈبل سیون ڈبل زیرو فائف ایٹ اینڈ مائی گروپ نمبر از نائنٹین مائی سب ٹاپک از مینجمنٹ آف اکیوٹ ایتھنال انٹاکزیکیشن دس از مائی ٹیبل آف کانٹینٹس اینڈ دا ٹاپکس وچ آئی ہیو کورڈ ان دس پریزنٹیشن اسٹارٹنگ فرام دا انٹروڈکشن انٹروڈکشن آف ایتھنال ایتھنال از این آرگینک کمپاؤنڈ It is a simple alcohol with a chemical formula C2H6NO. Ethanol is a volatile, flammable, colorless liquid with a slight characteristic odor. It is a psychoactive substance, recreational drug and the active ingredient in alcoholic drinks. So, on above, uh, here is a ball and a stick representation of an ethanol molecule. Further, we have the uses of ethanol which is an important industrial chemical it is a solvent um, it is a uh, organic solvent and it is used in the synthesis of other organic chemicals as well as medicines and as an additive to automobile gasoline ethanol is also the intoxicating agent ingredient of many alcoholic beverages such as beer wine and distilled spirits coming to the topic my uh, topic is acute ethanol intoxication so what is acute ethanol intoxication it uh, results from the ingestion of ethanol usually in large quantities uh, this can cause due to the ingestion of beverage ethanol which is alcohol in terms of wine beer or any other alcohol drink or can be with the non beverage ethanol such as in uh, cup syrups or mouth washes or cologne Here, uh, alcohol is the most eff- common and effective form of ethanol and is widely used and abused substance. <laughs> the etiology. <laughs> the ethanol toxicity can occur in both the acute setting and chronic setting, which represent uh, two different spectrums of disease. Here, I will be covering the acute ethanol intoxication. So, it usually follows the ingestion of a large amount of alcohol and is, it is a clinically harmful condition. What is the epidemio- uh, epidemiology of uh, alcohol intoxication that uh, it can um, affect uh, a very large group of people but mostly adolescents and young adults are most likely to present for intoxication. It uh, almost result in traumatic injuries such as traffic accidents or other accidents. Approximately 3.3 million deaths can be attributed to alcohol use. It is the fourth leading preventable cause of death in the United States. Coming towards the pathophysiology of alcohol. Alcohol is absorbed through the proximal GI tract and it is metabolized in the liver by alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme to acetaldehyde. The primary site of action in acute toxicity is CNS where it increases CNS inhibition and decreases excitation which may result in the uh, lethargy and other conditions. Alcohol binds strongly to GABA receptors activating the inhibitory cascade which results in sedation, cognitive dysfunction and decreased coordination. These are the symptoms which occur in acute conditions but In the chronic use of alcohol, the number of GABA receptors is increased, requiring more and more alcohol to create the same level of inhibition, which uh, phenomenon is known as tolerance. Here, uh, the metabolism of ethanol is shown in the body. Uh, the ethanol comes in body and the alcohol dehydrogenase acts on it and converts it into acetaldehyde. The acetaldehyde may, uh, uh, may uh, secrete in blood and causes toxic hangovers, but if it is broken, broken down into acetate by acetaldehyde dehydrogenase, then it is uh, further broken down into acetyl-CoA and acetyl-CoA is, uh, released in the, uh, is released in the urine. Here are some signs and symptoms. Uh, the criteria for diagnosis of alcohol intoxication include known or admitted ingestion of alcohol, change in behavior, cl- clinical signs including slurred speech, incoordination, nystagmus, memory loss, and lack of another condition to account for the symptoms. The signs and symptoms associated with alcohol toxicity depend on the blood alcohol concentration known as BAC. As the BAC increases, so do the severity. 
uh, here I have shown the percentage ranges from 0 to 50 percent one would expect to see relaxation increased talkativeness and decreased fine motor control from 50 to 100 percent patients develop impaired judgment and coordination from 100 to 200 one sees gait and instability gait instability means that they are uh, unable to walk properly slurred speech and mood and behavior changes at a BAC of 200 percent to 400 percent patients develop nausea and vomiting hypothermia dysarthria amnesia diplopia and nystagmus with a BAC of greater than 400 percent patients can develop respiratory depression followed by coma and even death the diagnosis it is important to ascertain the quantity and type of alcohol consumed and over which period of time it was consumed patients may complain of nausea vomiting and diarrhea a full physical exam should be performed with special attention paid to the vital signs nutritional status of the patient and skin findings such as capillary prominence spider navy telangiectasia palmar edema and muscular atrophy as with all physical exams airway breathing and circulation should be the first focus first of all we have to perform the blood test or uh, or breath test then uh, for further investigation a sample of urine and blood is sent to the laboratory for further diagnosis the management treatment for acute internal in toxicity is th mostly supportive the first priority is airway protection the main life threatening complication is respiratory depression checking a point of care glucose is important as many patients with alcohol use disorder will have depleted glycogen stores and treated hypoglycemia is important especially before replenishing vitamins such as thymine which can uh, cause uh, some complications in the uh, acute internal intoxicate intoxicant patients few studies have shown vitamin deficiencies in intoxicated patients thus the routine use of IV multivitamins should be considered on a case-to-case -case basis uh, the agitated or violent patients uh, should be given sedative substances but uh, example are droperidol and haloperidol but keeping in mind that they may not cause interaction with the alcohol depending on the severity of the intoxication and complications such as vernic encephalopathy alcoholic hepatitis or dys, uh, dysrhythmias patients may have to be admitted to the hospital for further treatment the prognosis the prognosis for ethanol toxicity depends on multiple factors including chronicity of use degree of intoxication and associate traumatic injuries and and organ damage patients who have uncomplicated ethanol toxicity have a good prognosis and need to be counseled or abstinence what are the complications in acute ethanol intoxicity ethanol affects multiple organ system and cause complications with both acute and chronic use uh, the patients are um, patients can be involved in trauma related injuries the acute internal uh, intoxication can cause alcoholic hepatitis and acute on chronic liver failure it can cause acute and chronic cardiovascular uh, system uh, effects acutely it can precipitate dysrhythmia such as arterial fibrillation supraventricular tachycardia and ventricular tachycardia and can lead to lethal arrhythmias in patients with myocardial infarction in addition it can cause contractile dysfunction leading to heart failure is stroke and increased risk of cardiac death now coming towards the case study uh, here is a case study taken from the book coda kimball the case study is as follows sl is brought to the emergency unresponsive except to noxious stimuli her friends report an evening of heavy drinking to celebrate 21st birthday her respirations are eight breaths per minute and shallow bp is 100 and 100 by 60 mmhg pulse is 100 beats per minute temperature 36 degrees centigrade a stat arterial blood gas determination reveals a ph of 7.29 the normal range is given the piece partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 52 mmhg and bicarbonate of 19 milli equivalent per liter why is SL's respiratory status of concern? Now here is a soap note. Subject patient 821 reported of heavy drinking is brought to ER unresponsive to 
nauseous stimuli, object, breath, 8 breaths per minute, BP 100 by 60, pulse 100 beats per minute, temperature 36 degrees centigrade, arterial blood gas, uh, pH 7.29, 29 PCO2, 52 mm of Hg, HCO3, 19 m equivalent per liter. Assessment. The respiratory depression is responsible for the acid-base normality which causes rep respiratory acidosis. Uh, that may be the reason, uh, that is the reason for the respiratory uh, concern in the patient. A blunted respiratory response to hypercapnia and hypoxia is seen. Endotracheal intubation for respiratory support is given and with that 0 0.4 to 2 mg of naloxone is given and repeated at 2 to 3 minutes interval for up to 10 mg. The plan which follows is that uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, treatment is given in emergency. So for further treatment, the uh, toxicological screening panel of SS urine is to rule out possible concurrent drug ingestion and to, uh, and to support further uh, treatment. So this is uh, the end of my presentation. Thank you.